So the philosophy of CHCs really, you know, played a huge role in how we responded to COVID. So the Northwest Toronto COVID uh, Collaborative actually started, I think, around May of 2020. The information going out and the the pieces that were being um, community were being informed about um, didn't resonate with our communities. So we know that our, our people who live in our communities have fun facing jobs. They couldn't stay at home, like the directives uh, stated. They couldn't, um, you know, um, quarantine in the same way. There were large families asking people to get tested by you know, going to um, take two or three buses to a, a community testing center. Those um, are, are, were barriers for our community members. We knew that we would have to address housing. We knew we had to address financial issues. We knew we had to address, had to look at, you know, uh, providing services beyond five o'clock, six o'clock. And with partnerships uh, from other organizations uh, coming together, providing uh, um, language supports, providing um, um, transportation supports. Um, so we had, you know, outreach in all the languages. We did uh, on the day of, we had ambassadors at the clinic. I started the last year, like, uh, you know, sharing the flyers, letting the people know that, yes, come and do your test is very important, you know. People, you know, not knowing that things like this is in your community, right? You're indoor, you don't know what's going on. You can't go outside, there's nobody to come and see them and all this stuff. But going there, look and tell them, you know what? Come on, this place is here. Just come and do your test. It's, it's free. You don't have to pay for it. So if we can get out there and talk to people and to say, you know, this is what we're doing. This is, these are the dates we're doing them. And these are the things that we're offering you. And then we know that they will go and, and uh, offer that information to people that uh, how they live with, people that, you know, their neighbors to, or they may work with, they work in the community. So those are, are important pieces as well. What's up, Rexdale? This is Terrence from the Rexdale Community Health Center here at the Albion Arena, doing vaccines from 12 to 8 p.m. Postal codes M9, V, W, and R get priority list, but we are taking hotspots for Toronto. So come reach, we got some water, we got some music going, having some good times. One life, we love one life, we protect one life with vaccine. Get your vaccine, take your vaccine, COVID-19 is to me. One life, you know when you listen to people, like the community is very, very, very important, you know? You hear their opinion, you know what they want, you know what they like, you know what they, like what they're afraid of, you know? You know how to like talk with them, you know how to pull them through. That trust relationship was huge. We adapt, we're flexible, we pivot, we make sure that the, the, we're client-centered, that person is, uh, you know, in the individual community member is at the center of what we want to do. And it's about the individual and where we can meet them and how we can support them to be in good health. We um, were able to move the needle a little bit with with, with the work that we did and uh, seeing it scaled up and rolled out across the province. So, proud of that.